Hey everybody, my name's Mike Montgomery. Typically, I make YouTube videos teaching people how to build furniture, do DIY, and home improvement. But today, I'm gonna teach you all how you can sell products online using Squarespace on Modern Builds. So when Squarespace reached out, interested in sponsoring a video like this, it couldn't have been better timing. My company, Maker Brand, which makes a product called Simple Finish, which has been out of stock for a while, is about to do a relaunch, and I need to do an update for that launch anyways, focusing it directly on Simple Finish. Plus, I promote Squarespace all the time. They're a regular sponsor here on Modern Builds, so making this video as a reference that I can show other people is gonna be really convenient over time. And last thing before we get started, if you go to squarespace.com slash modern builds and use the code modern builds at checkout, you will get 10% off your first site, store, or domain through Squarespace. Now let's get going. First things first, you're gonna need a product. And we have Simple Finish. Simple Finish is the last step in a woodworking project. If you build a table, this is what you put on to protect it and make the grain pop. But this could literally be anything, a physical product or something digital. Squarespace does great for both. And once you've sourced your item that you're selling, you're gonna need media assets to build out your website. I'm talking photos, videos, or any kinds of instructions or spec sheets for your product. A little while back, I set up a quick shoot using a polycarbonate sheet and the white backdrop in our studio at Maker Ranch. To get some really clean, minimalist product shots, I also reached out to my co-founders, Chris Salamone from Four Eyes Furniture and Ben Ueda from Homemade Modern to send me some images of projects that they've built that use Simple Finish. Aside from just seeing the product and the labeling, customers are gonna wanna see the product in use. And for us, that's showing Simple Finish on furniture projects. The last thing I did to source media assets was to reach Reach out to our audience and our customers on Instagram. I repost a customer project on the Maker Brand Instagram account just about every day, and we're gonna be using some of those photos to populate our website as we build it. Now it's time for step three, which is choosing the right Squarespace template. And to do that, we're gonna to need to go to squarespace.com slash modern builds. If you've seen my videos, then you've heard me talk about Squarespace templates. I love them. They are incredible right out of the gate and they're directed for what you want out of your site, whether that's an online store, a portfolio, if you're a contractor or a service person, you can pick a site that's already built for the goals that you're trying to achieve. So I'm gonna go ahead and sort four stores. And this site, Hester, is the one I've had my eye on for a while, so let's go ahead and start with this. If you are not very tech savvy or if you know zilch about building a website, Squarespace walks you through building the initial part of your website, uploading all of your logos, doing some of the SEO, and just building out the basic framework of your site before customization. On the left side of our interface, we're gonna go ahead and move over to pages. And you can see right now, we've got our homepage that we're on, we've got a shop, an about us, and a blog section. I don't wanna blog, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that, confirm, and I'm gonna include the about us, in a little brief section of our homepage. So I'm gonna get rid of that as well. So right now we're just starting with a homepage and our shop. Later we're gonna add a contact page and a FAQs. Considering this video is all about building an online store with Squarespace, let's start with the shop. Like earlier, you can follow Squarespace's setup guide or you can wing it, which is what we're doing. And first I removed all of the products from the website template. First, we're gonna need to add some products. So we'll just click create product. I selected physical product because that's what we're selling, uploaded a few images of Simple Finish, and then edited all of the text sections for this product listing. In this form, you'll also set the price of your item, choose whether or not you wanna track your inventory, set your SEO specifications for Google search, and manage shipping. And this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to making a product listing. You can add custom forms to your page, recurring payments for a subscription service. You can even have real-time shipping calculations done based on the weight and the dimensions of your product. But for now, we're gonna keep moving. All right, and there we have it. This is our basic product page. I'm sure we're gonna keep tweaking it. I love the images, clean and simple, just like the name. I just wanna change the color of that button probably. And once you can build a listing for one product, just rinse and repeat for however many products you're interested in selling. And now it's time to build out our home page. So let's go there. Now I'm not trying to sell pickles here, so let's get editing. I'm just gonna double click the website and that'll take us into edit mode. And the first thing I wanna do is edit the background image that we're working with. So I'm gonna go to the background and upload a new image. I'm not sure what's best here. I don't know if a woodworking project is gonna look really good or if just the product image is best. Let's try a couple. 
So that looks good, but also people might think we're trying to sell furniture. Let me try the actual can label. See how that photo looks. This template also has an overlay here in the front. So I'm just gonna take that all the way down because it was kind of making the color red. Okay, well that's really cool. Next, we'll add our slogan for makers by makers. That looks really good. And something that's really cool is the built-in editor that Squarespace has. I wanna go ahead and take away any saturation that this, color, that this photo does have. About right there. And I'm gonna add a little bit of sharpness too since we're scaling up the image so large. Boom, perfect. So these three blocks look like images, but they're actually products, which is great if that's what you want, but I just want photos of some projects with simple finish on them here. So I'm gonna add new blocks directly underneath them. And now I can delete these product listings that we're not gonna be using. Since we have three different founders, I thought it would be cool to include one project from each of us. All right, so I'm liking Chris and Benz's photo, but I don't think that's a great photo of myself, so I'm gonna remove it and do a new one. Let's do a close-up of the wood. I liked the close-up of the dining table much more, and I edited Ben's Live Edge headboard a little bit with Squarespace's editor. I like having this extra little button here, but as we scroll down, we've got one more big image block, and this is where I'm gonna have the picture of the three of us founders, rather than doing a whole about us page. That way it can be a quick blurb, but we can keep the focus on what we're trying to sell. We use MailChimp to manage our email lists and campaigns, and Squarespace links to this easily. And the last thing I wanna do is create a customer gallery. So I'm gonna click add section and we're gonna find the block that we wanna use. I bet it's under social. I like the look of the one with a little bit of padding in between the images. So I chose that one. Then I edited a little bit of text and connected it to our Maker Brand Co. Instagram account. That's awesome. And the cool thing about this is since it's pulling directly from our Instagram feed, whenever I post customer submissions on Instagram, it'll automatically populate on the Squarespace site. That way this is always updating, but it's not extra work for me. Awesome. Like I said, I wanna get rid of some of these pops of color and introduce some more wood grain. So I'm gonna edit the footer real quick and our homepage will be done. I chose the photo of this killer coffee table that Chris designed and built out of plywood. I really love the shape, but I want that blonde wood tone. I just figure it really matches and complements that minimalist white background. But check this out. We officially have a homepage. Our framework is all built out, and all I wanna do is change a few colors and fonts, and I'll show you how to do that now. We're gonna pop over to the design tab and go to site styles here. We're gonna pick our font book, and this one comes with Poppins, which I absolutely love. It's really simple, sans serif, classic, but new. I do wanna make everything a little bit larger. I like this right here, right around 21. Next, I changed our color palette to this basic monochromatic theme that I really like. Then I edited one of the gray tones down to a darker gray. That way it was just a little bit more contrasted against the light background. And now that our color palette is set, you can see that our buttons are nice and black rather than that pop of color. And I just wanna edit this photo now that the overlay is going to probably be black also. That looks really good about right there. And now I can write some text here and it's actually visible. And now we know how to add and edit sections and blocks for a custom site. So let's build out a couple of custom pages. First, our contact form. This process could not have been more simple. You just wanna choose the page that's got the built-in layout that you want. And finally, I built out a simple FAQs or frequently asked questions page to answer the things that I get emailed most often about Simple Finish including whether or not it's food safe, application instructions, and shipping policy. That was fast. And with that, the basics of this website are done. Check it out.
That looks good. Okay, so right off the bat, people can get shopping if that's what they wanna do. They can click here and get right to our product pages. Or if they wanna scroll down, we can give them a little bit more information and incentive to buy. There's our About Us blurb, an email sign up, and customer gallery. And if people wanna learn more, we've got the facts page ready to go, and we're gonna keep adding to this as we get more customer questions. And finally, if people have specific questions, they can ask us on our contact page. And here we have our listing. Obviously, we've got the can front and center so people can see what the product is. One shot of it on a project, that way people can see it in action. But realistically, we are trying to drive people to click this add to cart button. We've got free shipping, that's at the top of the description. Hopefully people really like that, considering we are a higher priced item for our category. In reality, this website has been live for a little bit less than a week and we've done our simple finish relaunch, which went really, really well. We did a few hundred orders in those first couple of days and it really put this system to the test. Natively, Squarespace has the ability to run your orders, keep track of your inventory and so much more. But you can also connect extensions if you're on multiple platforms or if you need over the top capabilities. So once an order comes in, you can see it through your Squarespace dashboard. Orders and information are super accessible. From there, Squarespace is linked to ShipStation where all of our orders funnel into externally. From there, we can manage our shipping, pack and fulfill an order, print a label and ship it out to you all. And this really is just the rabbit hole of what you can do with Squarespace. We built a super simple site for a single product, but you could build a huge website for a huge brand with a lot of products. In fact, there are no limit to the number of items you can sell with Squarespace. So to reiterate, if you need a website, you should do it with Squarespace. Why? They're the best in the game, they look fantastic, and they function really well. And right now, if you go to squarespace.com slash modernbuilds and use the code modernbuilds at checkout, you can get 10% off your first store, site, or or domain through Squarespace. So if you build a site, send it my way on Instagram. I'd love to see at Modern Builds. Thanks a million for watching and big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And we'll see you next time with a DIY on Modern Builds. Bye everybody.